Okay, well, you know, I'll tell you something. In life, you got to figure out which side of the street you're going to walk on. We're on Baratania. I'm in front of the former mansion of uh, Anna Rice Cook, of Castle and Cook, one of the beneficiaries of the uh, theft of uh, land from the Hawaiians. And right across the street, there looks like some kind of tent encampment, and of course that's Occupy Honolulu. And uh, that's what I'm going to check out now. In back of uh, the encampment, you see uh, in the perfect uh, faceless corporate architecture style, the first uh, insurance building. So I'm going to walk over there. The entire other side of the street, one uh, block uh, large uh, park. Thomas Square, named after uh, Admiral Thomas, who restored sovereignty to uh, Hawaii. So I'm going to walk over there and see what's going on. Of course, I'm going to wait for a uh, traffic signal earlier. A little more than an hour ago, actually, I got here. Immediately uh, on getting here, I saw some problems with the uh, police. The police were here. Uh, and I should have or will upload a recording of that uh, interaction with the police. Now, the encampment itself, you can see, is right along the uh, road. And that's odd. A lot of people on the mainland would think. But that's in order for it to um, exist. The uh, encampers have to camp right next to the roadside in compliance with the uh, law of the splinter paddle. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cross over now. So I'm crossing Baratania, and that's Ward right there. It is about 10 after 5 in the afternoon. This is the uh, Occupy Honolulu corner. The uh, information uh, desk. Pocket change for social change. Now this is where the, this area right here is the, where the encampment actually was originally and then the uh, police decided to redraw the boundary of the park to include the sidewalk. It's kind of odd. But they've been doing that quite a bit. You'll notice these uh, paddles as uh, motifs to remind the police of the law of the splinter paddle. Here's a gathering of people here. Let's, let's check in. I'm going to turn the mic around and see if we can pick up any music once we start playing. That's like every uh, nation and uh, intro and outro is that. <laughs> hey, you guys should start playing your live. You're worldwide. No, that would be a worldwide. <laughs> worldwide shooting. <laughs> We're getting uh Nova is monitoring the uh, Occupy Twitter stream, letting us know what's going on. I'm going to walk around and give people an idea of the venue.
some food, man. That's uh, Thomas Square in the back. <laughs> this is Occupy Honolulu. USA! 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 What was that about? Anyway? So anytime, anytime, you get, anytime someone gets bummed out about something that's like, that's what the U.S. does, or the representation of the U.S.A., you start chanting U.S.A. to alleviate all the problems there. <laughs> Yes, this is Occupy Honolulu. <laughs> and this is Honolulu. <laughs> and this is how we occupy. Background, uh, Academy of Arts, the former residents of Anna Rice Cook, married to Charles Montague Cook of Castle and Cook, one of the uh, land barons, um, beneficiaries of the... Uh, Theft of Hawaii from the Hawaiians. I'm trying to get these guys to play some music. Play some Hawaiian music for the people. Oh, Hawaiian music? Yeah. <laughs> Occupy Hawaiian style. of the afternoon, Occupy Honolulu. We're getting news from Occupies all over the continent.
about what's going on. We got one guy there, Nova, on the Twitter stream, keeping everybody informed. So we keep in uh, solidarity with uh, everyone. Greetings to everybody on the continent. I'm not calling it the mainland. We've got uh, a bunch of people just arrived. People will be coming. There's had uh, quite a few people uh, coming and going. Today, but this is the best time of day in the afternoon. Doing a little walk around here. Here, of course, is uh, Thomas Square. 